when they play this shit for, you know, five days straight, ten days straight, you know, XP points through the roof, and then, you know, then when you come on the scene, you can't, you can't get no shine. So, I didn't get Destiny, but let me know how y'all like it. Whatever, we'll see. Let's see, uh, my man M. Ford. All right, uh, what's the next Xbox game you getting? All right, so this is for my man M. Ford. The answer to that is, it's a game that I already got. It's Killer Instinct, but Season 2 comes out on uh, September 23rd. So I will be grinding back hard on my Killer Instinct sheet. Now, shout out to T, because she be, she be there on Tuesday nights. She be busy Amazoning more than me. Like, she, be on, she, she be on the computer Amazoning mad hard. A lot of times, while I'm getting my drink on, I'll be playing Killer Instinct. And y'all cast that played me and Killer Instinct. Y'all already know I am the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I don't want to toot. Like, high five. I don't want to toot my own horn, but y'all niggas that play me and Killer Instinct, y'all show me some respect, because y'all know when I get on that Killer Instinct, you see my man Glacius, yo. Julio. Whatever. Julio Iglesias. <laughs> when you see Julio Iglesias come through, you already know. So that's what that's the, the next game I'm actually looking forward to though is Mortal Kombat X. And T you gonna be playing that too. You know, we be going hard on Mortal Kombat. That's coming out though next year. So that's more like April. I think they already put out a release date. I think I just told you April 15th the other day. We was, but um I think it's coming out April 15th. So that's the next game I'm really looking forward to. I do got a grudge match that I gotta handle. Now my man, I forgot his name. Hit me up um when you see this video. I forgot his name. I just I just had to bust that ass and kill an instinct. And you know how you see how I had to say it like that? I had to bust that ass. I had to slow it down for y'all. I had to bust that ass and kill an instinct. And then he told me, alright, you know, I bust that ass a couple of times. I think out of a 10 game series. I think he might have won once. And I'm not trying to clown and all that. But he might have won once. Okay, that's cool. So now he's like, alright, he want me to run it back. Now, if y'all don't know what running back means, that means, all right, you play a nigga in the game that he's nice at, and he beat you. Now, the nigga has to play you in the game that they nice at. So, he challenged me to a UFC fighter. So, I, I did tell him I'm going to get that. So, I'm, I'm definitely going to get that. Even if I don't get into it that heavy and don't play it that much, I don't go back on my word. So, and T, if you listen, and I, you know, UFC fighters, I like that game. Hint. I like, like she, go and she add him a little memo into the phone. UFC fighters, I gotta get that game so I could give him his run back, and um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna beat my ass. But, but I might get it and I might play it for like about a week straight before I get, you know, before I get my rematch. And then who knows? I might have to beat that ass too, and then I'll be the supreme boss because I'll beat that ass in UFC and Killer Instinct. All right, <laughs> so let's see what we got next. Uh, Fifty-one fifty. Is the speaker on the front or the back of the Note Four? Drink up, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my man 5150, and I see the picture too. He got the he got the officials. Now, some of y'all noobs might not know, but he got the official Sam Rothstein picture. T, you remember Sam Rothstein from uh, Casino? Yeah. So he got the Sam Rothstein picture as his avatar. So straight boss mode, 5150. The speakers on the note is on the back. All right, now, they went from the bottom to the back, which to me, they kind of went backwards with that. It's the same as on the S5. So when you see your note 4, the speaker looks just like this. It's on the back. Not feeling that at all. Okay? Not definitely not feeling that. They should have took notes from HTC M8. I don't know why these companies don't bite off each other. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what biting is, that means copying. Alright, so these companies, when you see something that works, do the same shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like who cares? Like are people gonna say, oh Apple bit this. Oh, they don't care. They bite they biting and make money. If I was if I was Samsung, I would have said, you know what? The one thing that when once the ACC eight camp M eight came out, the one thing that people can't stop talking about is the speakers on the front. That's one thing. Of course, the aluminum build, which the Note four already you know kind of responded to that by putting aluminum on the sides. But the one thing that you can't argue about is them speakers on the front. Why not put the speakers on the front? Samsung, if you listening, for the Note five, put the speakers on the front. All right, stop stop trying to be unique. We don't care about unique. We want sound. All right? That's what we want. So to answer 5150, or a.k.a. Sam Rothstein, uh, speakers is on the back. T, let's have another shot real quick while we're chilling. And then I'm, oh, oh I got to I gotta tell y'all some shit, too, about that. Remember, what's the, oh, the G-Pen. Oh, I got to tell y'all about the G-Pen. But we get into that. Let's go through the tweets real quick, and then we'll get into the G-Pen. Drink up, bitches. Oh, all right. See, T, T beat me to it. Good shit, T. Okay. Now, let's see, Mike Mack. What do you think of the Apple event as a whole? Brooklyn wants to know. Oh shit. <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn on deck. Now, T is from Brooklyn too. 
T, what, well, um, what part of Brooklyn you was born in? Best Stuy. Okay, I just I knew that, but I wanted you to say <laughs> it for yourself. T was born in Best Stuy. What hospital you was born in? Interfaith. She she was born in St. John's Interfaith. Now me, I was born in Brooklyn Jewish Hospital. So both of us are real Brooklyn natives. So my man, my man Mark, uh, Mike Mac, Mike Mac. He said Brooklyn wants to know. I'm I'm gonna let y'all know from Brooklyn, all right? So we we two Brooklyn heads right here on deck. What did I think of that Apple event? I already covered that, so no reason to really get back into that. But um, just re if you did, if you didn't hear, just rewind the video to the beginning. It was alright. It was alright. Alright. So Mike Mac, I answered that question already. Alright. So but but shout out to Mike Mac, Brooklyn in the house. Mike, if you're watching this video, let me know in the comments what part of Brooklyn you from or what part of Brooklyn you chill at. I'm you know I'm originally from the Red Hook area. I used to chill out in Pink Houses. I used to chill out in Bushwick. You know what I'm saying? I used to chill out in Flatlands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dabbing TF because you know she know. You know what I'm saying? Word up. I used to be in Fort Greene. You know what I'm saying? Getting it, getting Hi. money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me right, calm right, down. Let me bring it down. Let me bring it down. Y'all started talking about Brooklyn. I started getting angry, yo. You That's know what I'm saying? That's how we move out in the Nam. Yo. All right, so. <laughs> yo, Brooklyn Nam. Yo, niggas, yo, niggas don't know about that. All right, let's, let's, let's bring that back. All right. So, my man Phil, this is one of my dudes now. Me and Phil, we always talk. He hit me up all the time. All right, so he asked me out, what phone am I most looking forward to? The Note 4, the new iPhone. And um, I covered that too already. I'm looking forward to the Note. And more so the Note Edge. Just because, well, matter of fact, I already know the Note's probably going to be a better phone. It's going to have more accessories. It's going to be a better all-around phone. But the Note Edge is just more futuristic. It has that James Bond quality that I look for. You know what I'm saying? I like shit. I like when I have shit that nobody else got. And I like when I have shit that looks cool. All right? So when you when you come in my office and you look at my table, and it's I like when people come in and they look and say, oh, what's that? Or oh, is that the new shit? I like that, yeah. I, simple things like that. I like that. I, you know, I'm that makes my day. All right. So the the Note Edge is a is a day maker. All right. That's a phone that you're gonna leave on your table when you're sitting in that boring meeting. You're gonna see that tweet come through on the side without even having to open the phone. And y'all know cats that got Galaxy phones. Y'all had S window and all that. The Edge is way different from S window. All right. Especially especially. Once you root it, and they're gonna have all these custom roots and custom ROMs that utilize that edge screen, it's gonna get crazy. All right, so we'll see. But I'm, I'm, which one am I looking forward to more, Samsung or Apple? Come on, son. Let's be real. All right, Phil, you already, Phil, you asked that question, Phil, but you know the answer to that already. All right, Phil. All right, so let's see, uh, Felicia. Have you tried putting a disclaimer on your channel for songs that you use are copyrighted for educational use? Um, no, I haven't done that. Actually, I never even heard of that because um, a lot of times it depends on the speaker that you use or how, uh, uh, the quality of the sound. Because I've used plenty of songs before and they haven't, you know, come back copywritten. But you know, if, if if put it like this, if you play in a song in your video and Shazam can pick it up, that means YouTube is gonna copyright it, point blank. So that's how y'all cast that make videos too. If y'all want to know, this is something I learned a couple of years ago. If you want to know if you could use a song in a video, if you if you got a rap song, a freestyle or something, and you want to know if you can use it in your video, all you have to do is play that song, pull out your Shazam app, and if Shazam picks it up, that means you can't use it in the video. Now, as far as what Felicia's saying as um for for educational use, I don't know how many of these uh, big companies gonna buy that. Uh, they're gonna buy the, um my Beats Pill videos for educational use. They they probably not gonna buy that. All right, so I don't know, but we'll see. Maybe I give it a try one day. Who knows? But um, let me know, Felicia, in the comments if you you if you did that and it worked. All right, I never tried that, but let me know if you if if, if let me know if you tried. No, I'm not clowning either. Let me <laughs> let me know if you when you try it if it works. If it works, I, hit me up. I will definitely try that. But um. I don't know. I I think that these um record companies and all that, they're not gonna buy that shit, yo. They're gonna be like, well, it's educational use, and um, then let them put the ads on it. You know what I'm saying? They're not. If it's educational use, who cares? They'll let you play the video, but they're not like they're not gonna let you make no money off that. So you can forget about that. Let's see. Uh, Neo, my man Neo hit me up. Uh, what are we talking about tonight? Watching last week's. Now he missed it. All right, Neo, you late. You late to the game, Neo. All right, you better get you better get your catch up game on Neo. All right. So what are we talking about tonight? We talking about man, we just bullshit. We having fun, Neo. You know, <laughs> I am fucking with you, Neo. But that, that Neo's my dude, though, because you know he hit me up on the Twitter. So, uh, you know, so Neo, catch up to the Amazon Warriors series. All right, you you you're a little late. Get your drink on and catch up. 
right? But um, we, we just talking about random shit. Y'all already know. And for y'all cats that don't know, let me explain something to you real quick. Because me and T was talking about this in the car earlier. Somebody hit me up a little while ago. They, they was like, um, all right, when they see my shots and all that, you see I'm taking shots and all that. They said, look, oh, you know, it's not a full-size shot. And, you know, you could, you, you're supposed to fill it up to the rim and all of that. The, bo the, the bottom line is this. The point of these videos is not for me to see how drunk I could get. All right, I'm not in a race to see how drunk I could get. And, you know, the point of me making this video is not not to see who could get the most drunk and y'all cats at home, you know, get drunk at the end of the night, y'all throwing up. That's not the point. Everybody drink at their own pace. Y'all alcoholic cats, y'all take this bottle of Ciroc and just drink it straight to the head. Y'all don't even need the fruit. Y'all don't need the mixer and all that. More power to you. But when I drink, I'm drinking to have fun. I'm drinking to relax. I'm drinking at my own pace. If you don't like the size of my shots, then you know you have two. You have two choices of what to do. Two choices. I. <laughs> <laughs> do I even need to say the choices? Let's leave it alone. I, <laughs> I already covered the two choices. I. So everybody else, look. Like I said, drink at your own pace. You know, don't try to impress nobody. Don't try to put on the show because y'all cats that be worried about you know. Oh, this drink is halfway to the top of the... That's the same cat that you see out in front of the club on his knees throwing up. The same cat you see in the bookings. You know, with his pants, pockets, inside out after niggas done robbed him. He got the rabbit ears. The same cat that you see stumbling down the block and we all taking pictures of, putting on Instagram. That's the cat that's worried about if the shot is going all the way to the top or not. Everybody else, just drink to have fun. Drink to relax. Drink to cool out. Don't drink to get drunk. Especially us. We got shit to do later. T. <laughs> <laughs> we got shit we got to do later so we're not trying to get chocolate wasted we're trying to get we're trying to get vanilla wasted right? <laughs> not chocolate wasted now yeah some of y'all can't some of y'all cats don't know the difference but chocolate wasted is you know once you finish that last shot you're only doing two things you're going to the bathroom and throwing up and then you're going to your bed to pass out we're not trying to do that all right now nah, once we finish this video then we're going to get up Get dressed and we out. You know what I'm saying? We go go handle some business, go have some fun, do whatever we gotta do. But the point is we're not drinking to get drunk, even though we're drinking to uh turn up and get tipsy. Alright? <laughs> so that just answers that random nigga that just hit me up early. I don't even know the name. Hit me up talking about um, you know, one of these uh, hallway monitors monitoring my my <laughs> my alcohol consumption, you know what I'm saying? One of these uh, alcohol alcohol police. Don't do that, yo. Alright, drink at your pace. You see your boy guzzling that. That shit to the dome. If you know you can't do that, don't do that. All right, your boy guzzling Hennessy straight, and you know you can't do that. Mix that Hennessy with some Coke and sip on it. All right, you don't got nothing to prove to him. At the end of the day, you'll be the one taking pictures of him with, you know, drawing mustaches on his face and, you know, <laughs> putting the dildo in his ear and all them. I'll I, I be on Instagram. I see the, the shit they be doing to these drunk niggas, yo. It's, it's, it's sad. And now, y'all cats, if you don't know, if you don't believe me, just look at my Facebook, yeah? I got a whole Facebook photo, a, a whole Facebook album called Drunk Ones. I <laughs> and shout out to T, she made it to the drunk. Hey, yo, high five, yo, high five. I gotta give her a high five. She made it to the Drunk Ones one night too, but you know that was my fault though. But uh, <laughs> there's a whole folder of people that get o over drunk, you know, OD drunk, and we have fun. So you know, look, there's nothing wrong with getting drunk, but don't force me to get drunk and don't don't. Don't try to be like somebody else or don't don't let somebody else force you into getting drunk. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now when me and T got drunk that night, that was my fault because you know we, we Yeah, yeah. She was she was hanging with the big dogs though, you know what I'm saying? I was I kept on buying drinks. I could have stopped. I was mad drunk too, and you know what I'm saying? Great I could it was fun. Hop, 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 hop. It was fun, you know. I kept on buying too many drinks. I was just OD, you know what I'm saying? But on a normal night, T knows when to say when. I know when to say when. So at any moment, if I say, okay, T, you want to have a shot? She knows when. She's at her limit. She's going to say, nah, I'm, I'll pass on this one. And I might take one or I might not. But the point is, know when to say when. All right, fellas, ladies, know when to say when. Let's see. Um, Misunderstood is their link. All right. See, now, I got to make this clear. When I post these on, I, I'm not doing the live videos yet because I still got to get an HD camera for that. For that. I'm a HD camera with Wi-Fi access. I'm not doing live videos from my webcam. All right, that's mad cheesy, you know, mad low budget. I'm not doing it. All right, so I gotta wait till I get that set up, which is in the works. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get that set up soon. But um, she's uh misunderstood. This is when when I say um I'm live, that means um I'm actually responding to tweets to the video live, if that makes sense. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whatever. Let's see. Uh, Wicked Getaway. So, Miss Unders, I'll, I'll respond to you on a, on a personal text and let you know that next time. Whatever. Or when you see this video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Wicked Getaway. Giants doesn't look good this year. All right. So, okay. Let's, let's address that. Let's address that. All right. The Giants lost again. We 2-0. and Big deal. It's the beginning of the season. Somebody got to win and somebody got to lose. Nobody cares about right now. All right? As if we want, you know, football is different from basketball and all these other sports. What Once you get to the playoffs, it's a one-game elimination. All right? It's not like basketball where best of seven, you know, best of five, you know, playoffs. and all. No. When football, when you get to that playoffs, if the Giants make the playoffs, that's when the season starts. All right? So we don't care about this 0-2 start right now. I'm 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 still rocking with the Giants and the Jets won, so my backup team caught a win. <laughs> oh, did they win? I don't know. T, check on your Google Plus and see if the Jets won. When I last checked, they was up 21-16. So remember, we was in the gym too. We seen the first. I actually watched the first quarter and a half in the gym, and the Jets was up. I think uh, 14 to three, whatever. But my backup team is in there, so yeah, don't look good for the Giants, Evan. All right. Uh, oh no, not Evan. I'm sorry. Wicked Getaway. That was Wicked Getaway. Yeah, the Giants don't look good, but we're not, we not worried about that. All right, now we got Evan A. Now, this is my man Evan right here. What's your, for, uh, what's your favorite portable battery charger? And I, I happen to have that right here, too. Let me, let me grab that. That's a good question, Evan. <laughs> let me see. T, you seen that? Where's that Vivis joint at? I had it. Well, whatever. I had it. The gold one? Yeah. I had it somewhere over there. All right, whatever. Whatever. Go through my, Evan, I'm talking to you directly now. Go through my videos. Look at the Vivis Night. That's my favorite charger. And T, I'm, 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 am I lying, T? Oh, here it goes right here. All right, see? That's what I'm saying. This is why you need two hands. See, look, this is my favorite charger right here. Not only because of the nice leather texture and the gold trim, you know, and the LED lights and the built-in micro USB charger part, uh, micro USB cable. Not only because of all of that, but this one actually works. All right, this one actually really works. This one will charge my HTC M8. Remember that day we was going to New Jersey? How long did it take? It took about an hour. It charged my HTC M8 in about an hour, and I charged my G3 from 50 to 100 on the way home. So this one actually works. Build quality, build quality is a go in this. All right, and you see that leather? You see the leather look? You see that gold glistening, blinding y'all niggas? This one is a go. All right, so if you didn't see the video for that, good looks, T. If you didn't see the video for that, Watch that one, but that's my favorite battery charger right now. That and the Hyper Juice. Now the Hyper Juice is actually one of is actually the best working charger that I have, but that one is giant. So that's not a, a charger that you just put in your pocket and break out. Okay. Oh my God, the Jets lost here. Oh T uh, T T. T. We gotta have a shot for that. The Jets lost. T just showed me on her iPhone that the Jets lost. Damn, Geno Smith, yo. Damn, yeah. The fuck, I, yo. You remember we was on the treadmill? You seen they 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 was they was doing their thing. Yo, yeah. niggas was celebrating, popping champagne. Jets. I don't know, man. Y'all let me. I'm I'm disappointed, but here's to keeping the season alive, yo. Drink up, bitches. Keep it alive, Jets. Keep hope alive. All right, so let's get back into that. Now, like I said, the Hyper Juice is probably my all-time favorite charger. But that one is too big. It's, How many it's, milliamps is that one? The Hyper Juice, I think that's um 20,000. It could be like 20. But remember, that's the one I had today. Yeah. It's giant. Mm -hmm. It's mad big. That one, the build on that. The, I was just arguing with somebody. Not really arguing, but let's not say arguing. Let's say uh, shitting. I was, more <laughs> like, <laughs> I was more like shitting on somebody because they was like clown, trying to clown on the video talking about, oh, you know, that charger costs $100 and it's cheap aluminum and all that. How the fuck you know it's cheap aluminum if you don't even buy it? You know what I'm saying? You can't just look at something and say, oh, that's cheap aluminum if you never touched it. And not to mention, I y'all already know on my channel I did 100 battery charges. All right? So I know when, when I say something is good, especially as far as a battery charger, I'm not talking as a nigga that just had three charges. I had 100 battery charges. The Hyper Juice, yeah, it might be $100 and change. It's worth every penny. When we went to Beamer Stock this morning, I grabbed two charges and put them in my bag. I grabbed the Hyper Juice and I grabbed the Zero Lemon. And the only reason I grabbed the Zero Lemon is because I left the, the Vivis joint. I left that charging because just in case I got to go out tomorrow morning, I, I want that one fresh. But when I grab my bag, I grab the Hyper Juice and I grab the Zero Lemon. The Zero Lemon is up there too. That's, a, that's another nice one. And T, you use that Zero Lemon every day, the other one. Yeah. You like that one too. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Let's see, uh, Big Sweets. Big Sweets 313. Now, this is uh, this is a country nigga right here, all right? Now, shout out to my man, Big Sweets. He, now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but he got to be a country nigga right here because that, that's an OG country name, right? Yeah, T, because, you know, you you, 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 you got a lot of family down south and all that. You know, you know about Big Sweets, yeah? You know, that sounds like a dude that you'll go to to get some weed from, you Like, he sounds like a dude I'll call up. Let me call up my nigga, Big Sweets, and get that weed. Let's see, uh... Let's see what my man Big Sweets is talking about. Okay, are you going to post a video of Times Square? All right, now the answer to that, uh, and he loved the videos too. Shout out to Big Sweets. I see you out there now. You know we just clowned it. Now, I'm not going to post a video of Times Square. I actually deleted it already, you know, because I had to make room for this motorcep shit from today. But, um, T.U. was there for the Times Square cruise. That wasn't... It wasn't really nothing to post because there was so much cops out there and so much hate. We was basically driving mad slow, it was, you know, mad traffic. Sightseeing. Yeah, we was more like, look like tourists. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there was no real, we couldn't even rev. Once we started revving, the cops came through. Like, so there was no engine noise or no dramatic peel-offs or nothing like that. So, didn't post that. Now, we did talk about, I see it, I, re, I told you, I read every comment. I see a lot of cats say they wanted me to post a video because they never been to Times Square. So, they just want to actually see what Times Square is. So, what I will do is, me and T, will we, we will jump in the car. And we will take a trip around Times Square and go on some sightseeing shit and just, you know, cruise through the city so y'all can see what, you know, for, because, you know, now y'all cats in Brooklyn, like, who give a fuck about Times Square? I know, because you live here. But, <laughs> but y'all cats in Sweden, y'all cats in Romania, y'all cats in Australia, Germany, Japan, London, Iraq, Pakistan, North Korea. <laughs> you see that? Now I'm fucking right, because y'all North Korean niggas. I can say what y'all I can say whatever I want about North Korea, because these niggas don't really got no internet access out there. So y'all not really gonna be worried about that. I'm just clown. But um everybody else, a lot of cats, they only seen Times Square on TV shows or you know, in the movies and all that. You never really seen what it feels like to drive around Times Square. So I will do that. So big sweets, I don't know where you from. Let me know where you from. If you if you just want to see the video just because or you actually never been to Times Square and you want to see what that look like, let me know. And uh, me and T, we're going to make that happen, all right? All right, T, so remember my, remember my man Big Sweets, all right? All right, Big Sweets. We're going to make that happen for Big Sweets. All right, let's see. Uh, my man uh, Yaniv, all right? Now, he got the BMW logo as an avatar, so he's a certified boss, all right? How do you feel about the Apple Watch? Did Apple convince you to start an Apple family versus Samsung family? Um, no. <laughs> the Apple, well, like I said, the Apple Watch is cool. It's a my first watch. All right, so I, it's a good look for Apple because that's their first watch. So I got to give them credit. Yeah, they, you know, they did pretty good for their first watch. It does look better than the original. You remember the original Galaxy Gear with the um, big camera bulging out the side? Right. And the band was mad stiff. You know, you couldn't even bend that band. Yeah. All right, so if it comes to, but you know, you got to remember that this is Apple. They already seen that watch. They seen this watch. They seen the Moto and they seen the LG. So you can't jump, you can't jump on their bandwagon like, well, look at Apple, you know, killing the game on their first watch and Samsung, it took them two or three tries before they, you know, got it down. Of course, because it took us, you know, it took, I said us. <laughs> 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 it, us, uh, yeah. See, my my bias came out a little. I right? bring that back. Bring it back on the top. It took Samsung a little while to get the watch game 100 percent because they started from scratch and they didn't have a mold to to follow. Mm -hmm. So Apple following the lead from other companies. So of course their first watch is going to be kind of a hybrid between the LG and the Galaxy and all that shit. But they still, to me, I don't know that button on the side shit. I don't know. They trying to make it look like a you know like a real watch with the button on the side. I don't I don't see how that's that What's functional. Those circles on the screen. What's that's that like about? the apps, like so, like that, like some app shit. Like it's a lot going on. Yeah, hey, I'm not really me. feeling this shit. Like I, I'm like I said, I'm not feeling it. But if I gotta make a choice, I go with Galaxy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But as far as just that little knob on the side shit, I don't see that being too functional. I don't see myself spinning that or pushing that as opposed to a nice home button. That's not really how many times you see me? Yeah, how many times you see me when I got to get the time? I like to go like this. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure, like, you probably get used to tapping on the side, but nah. Dang it. <laughs> nah, that's not it. That's not it. All right, uh, my man IG, uh, I'm born blood 75. OG's in the house. Okay, oh, I see you. OG, triple OG, 031. My <laughs> Tom Moon niggas on deck. I see you. All right, he got the drinks ready. Let's see. He's drinking the chocolate Patron on deck. Let me see. I got to click on that picture. Oh, okay. T, look at this, yo. Matter of fact, I want y'all niggas to see this, too. My nigga right here. He got the chocolate. You ever seen this, yo? No. Okay, he got 
Chocolate Patron, yeah. All right, so um, I'm not I'm not gonna respond to these tweets live, but um, I'm born I'm born blood seventy five. You are an uh, official boss because I never seen that before. Let me know how that tastes, because T, you already know we had some the Patron five burrows. Say no more. <laughs> I'm not gonna put you on blast you. Yeah. I'm not gonna put you on blast you. But um we had some nice you know, We go to Five Burrows. We like to drink margaritas, right? So we get a margarita, it comes in a big cup like this. So we get a margarita and we get a shot of patron with each drink. So after about three margaritas and three shots of patron. It's anything goes, and uh, I'm going to just leave it at that, T. High five. Let me high five you again. But, T, you already know. So, he's drinking the Chocolate Patron. I'm, yo, yo, take it to the Google. Find out if we could get that, because I, I think I'm going to need to try that. I'm going to need to try that. All right. Let's see. My man, Kyle Jordan. Now, look. I'm going to wrap up the tweets in a minute. I know. Look, this is, like I said, maybe I didn't say that. Let me, let me, let me say it now. Like, this is not a tech video. I, I should have said that at the beginning, but this is not a tech video. This is just a video that we unwind and we having some drinks. We talking some shit. I'm chilling with my subscribers, you know what I'm saying? A.K.A. my friends. So, uh, your, your, your cat. You know, my cat over here running around acting like a fucking cat. This video is just to chill out. So, if you're waiting for tech products and all that, we're going to get into that too. I got a tech product. But at the same time... We just drinking, we just having fun, and we just um look. I, and I like to um that's what separates my channel from a lot of these other channels out here. I actually like to interact with the niggas that subscribe to my channel. Now there's there's nobody uh, there's nobody that can say that they sent me a DM on Instagram and I didn't see it or I just ignored it or whatever. Even if I like the picture and I don't respond, that means I could be somewhere that I don't have time to respond and all that. But at least I get at least I have the courtesy to like your picture, especially if you took the time out. To DM it to me, like I don't have time to respond to a thousand, you know, a thousand personal messages. I can't do that. A lot of times I'll be working, I'll be on my grind. You know what I'm saying? I'll be having fun. I'm doing what I got to do. But the point is, you can't tell me that you sent me some shit and I didn't see it, or I didn't, you know, I didn't even like the picture, or you tagged me in some shit. And I'm like, yeah, fuck that nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's what separates my channel from a lot of these other channels. And we just having fun and drinking. So don't, don't, um, don't rush me. I <laughs> That's the bottom line. Don't rush me. I'm out. I'm responding to my niggas on Twitter. You know, if you don't like it, you got two choices, all right? And you know the two choices already. Now, my man Chris, all right? Chris Chance. All right, let me get the little unboxing knife. All right, look. Oh, okay, matter of fact, Chris Chance, he want to see the little unboxing knife. T, watch it. Watch it. Watch your forehead, yeah? All right? <laughs> all right, so this is a little unboxing knife, all right? For y'all cats that don't know, you see that? This is what I unbox all my products with. My girl hates when I be playing with these shits and drinking at the same time. T, remember that knife? What knife was that that I had in the house? Was that a zombie killer? The one with the handle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I, look, look at me. I, I had a zombie killer. I was mad drunk. I was fucking around. Yo, I almost took my finger off of this bitch. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, so, so every time I pull out the zombie killer, she get a, she get that look like a little bit concerned. But, um, yeah, that's the little unboxing knife. All right, so my man King, King Man Samusa. All right, what tablet do you use as your daily driver? This tablet right here. Note 12, all right? So we, we answer that real quick for you. Note 12. Well, man, Ace. I right, say, love the videos. Keep it, always keep it 100. From Toronto, all right? So shout out to all my dudes from Canada. Shout out to everybody in Toronto watching the videos. Matter of fact, yo, T, let's have a drink for everybody in Toronto. And especially for my man, Ace, all right? My man, Ace, a.k.a. The Prodigy. He's out there in Toronto holding it down. Now, I did go to Canada a long time ago. I was in Halifax on some bullshit cruise shit, but whatever. I was in Canada, and um, it is what it is. <laughs> Canada's uh, it's cool. I only went on the cruise part, so I didn't get to see the whole city and all that. But Ace, if you're inviting us over, and I say us because I'm bringing tea with me. I got to bring my girl, too. So if you want to invite us over for drinks or something, hit us up. But we're having a drink for you right now. This from my man Ace T, all right? Drink up, bitch. <laughs> okay. Woo! You dropping peaches all over the set, yeah? This shit is all right, though, yeah? It is. It's nice and smooth. I actually prefer this over the Hennessy some days. Because, you know, with that Hennessy, sometimes you get too turned up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you want to get turned turn medium up, not yeah. turn full up. You know what I'm saying? So... Sir so Rocky, y'all already seen me in many, many videos. 
drink a whole bottle of Ciroc with no problem. This is the kind of drink that you could just have a couple of shots and just relax. T, you gotta go somewhere tonight. <laughs> T gave me that look like, nigga, I'm going wherever you going. All right, so that's cool. I respect that, though. I respect that. So uh, the answer I was looking for is no. All right, no. No, you don't gotta go nowhere tonight. Now look, we do gotta, we gotta, we, we gotta handle a little bit of business, but T, I just need you to make a few collections for me. Right? Collections. <laughs> I need you to go drop off a few packages for me, and we, yeah, we'll talk about that later. First All right. <laughs> yeah, I need to drop a few packages off for nigga. Let's see, my man uh, Quintrell Moody. All right, uh, nigga, we about live. Okay. Now, Quintrell, I don't know what you mean by that. Let me see. Maybe I'm getting turned up a little bit. <laughs> Might have to smoke a cereal real quick. T, you want to smoke real quick? All right, so get that. Uh, all right, let me go through these last couple of tweets real quick, and then um, we'll smoke and we'll do a little uh, product recap. All right, uh, Quintrell, you gotta be a little bit more specific. I don't know what you mean by that. All right, uh, let's see. My man Ace hit me up again. Did I pre-order the iPhone six? Of course. Why not? All right, David uh, Sheenan got the thumbs up. I see you. Is that the new BMW in your avatar? That might be. It looks like the new BMW. Now, T, you remember that shit we seen at the car show today, that electric shit? That shit like trash here. All right, we seen this. That shit look like, um, what'd you call that? That's, smart car? The smart. It look like a big smart car, yeah, a but a Scion car. version of a smart car. This yeah. shit look like, this shit looks weak. It's bad. All right, and Quintrell, he hit, me, he hit me up again, too, all right? My nigga Quintrell. How was the car show? The shit was popping, yo. We was out there. I did take two videos. I did a cruise video, and I did another video just walking around. So hit me up in the comments and let me know, do y'all want to see both videos? I planned on just putting up the cruise video. The video of me walking around, it's a little... You got to go into it with an open mind, right? Because there's a lot of people walking around. And I'm not I'm not a professional photographer. And I'm not one of them niggas that's going to be standing, you know, on a stump or standing on a cardboard box trying to get the best angle. No. I was just walking around like a regular nigga with a camera. So there's mad people walking in front of me, walking on the side of me. But you will get the effect of, you know, you will get the effect of if you was there. So you will get to see a lot of nice shit. Remember that uh, purple, that, that gray GTR with the purple Ooh. wheels? Yo, that shit was banging. <laughs> Yo, they had a, a gray GTR with some purple wheels. They had um, that Audi R8, the black on black shit. They had some colorful shit. My man um, Team Salmon was there with the with the Lambo, the Batmobile. They had a bunch of shit there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So if y'all want to see that video too, let me know. All right. Let's see. Um, Sophia hit me up. She said... Checked out, uh, she said, hey, dude, checked out swinging some Baileys yet. Let's see, uh, let's let's click on that. What is that? Let's hit that link. Let's see what swinging some Baileys is all about, yo. Okay, so Baileys, like, remember we was just up in the liquor store trying to get some Baileys. All right, so um, swinging some Baileys, I don't know what that is. Uh, hit, me up, uh, hit me up after you see this video and let me know what's, oh, she said, she said, hey, dude, you checked out swigging some bellies yet. Okay, so, um, have, I, I, okay, I see what you're trying to say. Have, have I got into drinking the bellies yet? And the answer is, hell yeah, I've been drinking bellies for mad years. I used to drink bellies in Hennessy. Mm -hmm. I used to mix bellies in Hennessy, and, um, I used to get fucked up off that shit. So, bellies, I used to drink bellies by itself when I used to try to drink like on my lunch break real quick back in the days when I was like 21. Lunch yeah, break. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go, you know, cause I used to, but matter of fact, I, was, I, was, I wasn't even 21. I probably was like 19 or 20. And I used to work as a security guard. So I used to go and get the Baileys and I used to drink it real quick on my lunch break. And it used to give me like a nice buzz and all that. That didn't get too wasted. But uh, you know, I had to go back to work. <laughs> Whatever, you know, on some, on some Denzel Washington flight shit. You know, go to work <laughs> drunk, nigga. All right, um, Quintrell. Let's see, um, would you rather watch golf or soccer? All right, now, this nigga, Quintrell, all right, look, look nigga, now, nigga, you, you're doing a lot right now, all right? You, you're doing a lot right now. Right? That's, 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 that's too many questions, all right? That, all right, so, Quintrell, fall back a little bit. Let's see, um, let's see, HTC, my man, Fool Vanny, HTC M8 or LG G3? Um, uh, I'm going to go with the M8. I'm gonna go with the M8. The G3 is a little bit bigger. Yes, I will. The build on, the the build on that M8. Crazy. The, the M8 and the speakers on the front. Yeah. yeah. Speakers on the front. M8. M8 is actually my favorite phone right now, other than the Note. The, the Note with the S Pen is second in command. But right now, my personal life, my everyday actions, 
90 times when 90 percent of the time when you see me i got the m8 on deck yeah. mm -hmm. so whatever that's what that's what it is let's see uh my man tracy lee he said he got his ciroc and his remy ready he said he, okay. he can't decide. All right, so you got if you can't decide, Tracy Lee. If you can't decide, oh, he got he got a nigga. He got his avatar is uh, Wesley Snipes and Blade. All right, so <laughs> some boss shit with the with the leather jacket. You know what I'm saying? And the and the the the, the what you call a haircut, yo? <laughs> what you call a soup bowl cut, yo? When it's just a straight line, <laughs> we should call that a soup bowl. Like your mother just put a soup bowl right on your head and just cut the line right across. All right, Tracy Lee, uh, Sirocco Remy. I'm going with Sirocco. Yeah. What about you, T? Out of Sirocco Remy. If he drink with his lady, go with Remy. <laughs> All right, you go with the church. All right, that was the T with Shout the Remy. Okay. <laughs> okay, she go with the T. T go with the Remy. Okay. I'll see you. I'll see you. Shout out to Remy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't can't get about that story. Remy Boy at home. She back on the set. And, you know, I'm, I've always been a Remy fan. I used to watch the freestyle videos. She used to get it popping. So, Remy's back home. I, I, I heard the shit she did with French Montana and um, DJ Khaled. She's back on the deck. So, all these uh, fake bitches, y'all better step your game up. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Patrick Willard. Drink up bitches. Let's see. He got a picture. Okay. He's drinking some. Um, look, I'll show y'all for y'all. So, he's drinking some traditional lager type shit. You can see that, T? He's drinking some traditional beer shit. Okay, Patrick, I see you. I had to, remember I had to, I did, matter of fact, was that the Bug Assault video? I did a, a video, I drank a few beers and all that. I'm on some shit now. I'm trying to get back into my, trying to get back into my weightlifting and, you know, physical fitness type shit. You know what I'm saying? All my, all my physical fitness shit. So I'm trying to cut down on the calories. I'm trying to monitor my caloric intake on these niggas. You know? So whatever. So. <laughs> but I see my man Patrick. He look like an in-shape nigga. So he, he probably can get popping with those beers more than me. I'm, I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? I, I got to get my game back up. Let's see. Um. This nigga sent a picture of his little unboxing knife. Oh, uh, look at this nigga. Okay, I see any any rocking Nissan too. Okay, he sent he sent a picture of his little unboxing knife. Now, that looks like a cutlass, <laughs> uh, some machete type shit. Okay, I see him. He, he he's doing his thing. All right, let's see. Um, all right, now this nigga Quintrell, he hit me up again. He 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 could be gay. <laughs> he Quintrell, you might be gay. All right, he asked me red or blue polo. He might be gay, all right, T. He could, he could be gay, but we'll leave that alone. That we'll, we'll, we'll leave that to the side. He, Quintrell, I right? fall back. <laughs> Quintrell, <laughs> the, the the test results are in. You are gay, all right. Now let's see, um, Andrew, my, my man Andrew. Oh, okay. Look, my man Andrew. He said, um, thanks for taking a picture with me today at Beamer Stock. Love the T-shirt. Oh, T, get the T-shirts out. All right, now let's have a drink real quick. Matter of fact, let me grab the bag. This shot right here is a special shot for my man, Andrew Greenberg. Now, look, I already told y'all before, when y'all see me out in the streets, in the hood, you know, at the car shows, at the concerts, at the bar, at the club, wherever I'm at, I'm approachable, all right? I'm not one of these niggas. I'm not walking around with my bodyguards and security guards. I'm not walking around like, yo, who the fuck is this nigga walking up to me? I'm very approachable, all right? And when I was at the car show, a lot of cats was walking up to me like, yo, I watch the YouTube videos, what's up? They want to sit in the car, look in the car, take pictures and all that. Nigga, I'm out there having fun. I'm just a regular nigga like everybody else, all right? So my man, Andrew, we took a picture together, and um, he did see the shirt. My girl made some shirts. Let me let, let me just, uh, let's, matter of fact, T, let's have a quick shot, and then we get into the shirts real quick. I, I'm glad Andrew hit me up on the check-in, too, because all these cats that I was taking pictures with, I forgot to tell them to tag me on the gram. I could have gave y'all some love, but at least Andrew hit me up. So, Andrew, it was a pleasure to meet all y'all niggas today. Hey, all all y'all niggas is my niggas. <laughs> Let's all drink up, all right? Drink up, Andrew, you bitch. <laughs> now, Andrew, you know, when I call you a bitch, that means you're my dude, all right? All right, Andrew. Now, look, this is the shirt. This is the shirt. Now, see it for yourself. Number sign. <laughs> Fellas, ladies, I don't, I'm not even going to read this for you. If, if you don't know what this stands for, then you, you, you know, you're on the wrong channel, all right? So this is the shirt I had on. Let's see the back of the shirt real quick. I'll take it to the back. Shout out to Tika. She made these shits. These shits is kind of, you know, kind of tough, okay? So we was out there at the car show representing the set mad hard. Let me get yours, T. And T had this one on, all right? This one is kind of tough, too, all right? Now, a lot of people been asking me I should make this. 
Alright, usual usual books and shit. Alright, now look, if you don't rock with my channel, then you won't get that. Yeah, you won't get that. That's an inside joke. This is, you know, some shit. T, good looks on the shirt. High five. Let me high five. I like to say high five, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we was doing it. So, shout out to my man, Andrew. Yeah, we did take a picture. I will favor that tweet on site. Because that was, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. That's the kind of shit that I like. I like when niggas see me out in the street. You know, you don't have to be like, oh, you know, uh, now look, let me talk to my, my niggas for a minute. T, don't listen to this. Hardcore <laughs> niggas, you know when you see that dude, like me, like, I'm going to tell y'all a quick story. And T, correct me, call me out if I'm lying. I'm going to tell y'all a quick story. Now, everybody who knows me knows that my favorite rap group of all times is Mob Deep. Y'all see my videos, y'all know how I roll. I'm a Mob Deep fan, yo. And I'm really like, I don't really like saying fans because, you know, the only stars I know is in the sky. And to me, a hero ain't nothing but a sandwich. Really All right? So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I don't, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of too much shit, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the type of nigga that, if I see Jay-Z, me, Jay-Z in the elevator, I'm not asking for a picture. I don't do that, yo. I'm not asking for a picture. I'm not asking for an autograph and all that. Because, you know, niggas, you know, sometimes niggas get too big for their bridges, yo. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that be wearing bridges, yo. All right, but... Look, for me, I'm not opposite of that. Like, I'm the type of nigga that, if I'm on, I'm like, now look, I'm not even talking about YouTube and all that. Like, back in the day when I was on in the hood, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. But I'm on in the hood and everybody know me. When you see me in the hood, you could come up to me and we could talk, we could get it in, we could chop it up. And that's how I am. But true story, I was at the airport. T, you was right there. I'm not even lying. T, correct me if I'm wrong. We, me and T, we outside smoking, right? We had Terminal 6 or Terminal 5. Terminal. Terminal 5. Jet Terminal Blue. 5. Yeah we, yeah, we had Terminal 5. We outside. We smoking a cigarette. This nigga Prodigy from Mob Deep. Now, this is the nigga that I've been rocking with. Now, look, I know Prodigy from back in the day, too, on some other shit at CW Post when his man's got beat down. We was there. I, we had a little in incident where we had to unite. All the queens had to unite and, and, and brawl out with some Long Island niggas. But that was, a, you know, that was you know 15 years ago. Mad long. You know, niggas ain't going to remember that shit. Whatever. So, I'm outside smoking a cigarette. This nigga prodigy walks up to me, asked me for a cigarette. Remember that? Yeah. Asked me for a cigarette. I didn't even have a cigarette. <laughs> I was like, Nah, dog, I ain't got it. Now I did have cigarettes. I could, I could have gave him one. You know, what I did have cigarettes. Yeah, you know what yeah, yeah. I did. I, did, I had cigarettes. Yo. I don't give a, one. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. Yo, he didn't say, Can I buy a cigarette from you? He was like, Can I get a cigarette? Like, nigga, like, yeah, I rock with the music, and you know what I'm saying. I'm a fan of the music, but I didn't like how you approached me with that shit. Like, let me get a cigarette. Nah, dog. Now you can't get that. But the point I'm trying to make is, look, <laughs> look, I know I know how hardcore niggas is. Y'all don't like to talk to niggas that y'all like. You know, you can listen to Funk Master Flex and DJ Clue, DJ Envy and all that. You play them every day in the morning. You like their songs. You like their you like their videos and all that. But when you see them in the street, man, fuck these niggas. Like you ain't gonna you know, you ain't gonna go out of your way and say what's up to them because you never know how these niggas could respond. You know, like imagine you take your you take you swallow your pride and you walk up to Funkmaster Flex like yo Flex yo I see I follow you on Instagram I like that Chevy picture that you put up a nigga like yo all right thanks or who the fuck is you like you know what I'm saying you don't know how a nigga could respond so that deters a lot of hardcore niggas but me on the other hand cats that know me and cats that see how I move cats know I'm very approachable and I said that in many videos and for all y'all cats that was at Beamer Stock y'all seen it for yourself T in my line how many pictures I was taking with niggas and shaking hands niggas want to sit in the car looking want to look at the car like yo this is, with me I'm all love I'm all having I'm having fun and this is why I do this shit man I'm a communicator yo I like to communicate with the team yo alright so now let me just answer these last couple of tweets and we keep it moving all right, let's see. Um, let's see. We got uh, Willie Hughes. All right. Oh, hold up. Oh, Sophia. Sophia just hit me up again. She said, um, "Did I check out the electronic cigarettes? If not, if yet, why or why not?" And Sophia, it just so happens that <laughs> yeah, I just copped this today. Now we're gonna get into this in a little bit. I know this video is gonna is gonna be kind of long, but I don't give a fuck. We having fun. We having drinks. And y'all niggas at home, y'all niggas know how I move out, yo. There's no, even when I do a case video, there's no quick videos on my channel. I'm having fun with this shit. And you you got the freedom to skip forward if you don't want to hear this shit. But my real niggas know that we having fun. Y'all niggas is working out. If you watching my video working out like T be doing, watching my videos, yo. Because this is the first time T sat with me live on the video. Normally when she watches my videos, is we, we on the treadmill burning some calories and shit. So when you're on that treadmill... 
you're not worried about the time. You want the video to be long. And I make my videos. I don't make them at. I don't design them for a specific time length. I'm I, I'm having fun. I'm doing what I got to do. <laughs> Y'all niggas already know you got two options. All right, so we we'll, we we'll leave that alone. But. Sophia, I did check out the electronic cigarettes. We got one right here. I, I'm going to push that to the side. So if, I see you, Sophia, but we'll leave that one alone. My man, Willie Hughes, all right? Uh, which one, you, which iPhone do I think will sell best? No, which phone do I think will sell best? The iPhone 6 or the Note 4? Well, that's like asking which is going to sell more, a Ferrari or a Ford Taurus. The Ford Taurus is going to sell more because you got police officers using Ford Tauruses. You got state troopers. Basically, everybody. You got FBI agents. You got rental car companies. And that's just like an iPhone. You're going to have little kids. You're going to have hippies, yuppies, nerds, dweebs, geeks, weirdos. <laughs> a few hood niggas here and there. But, of course, the iPhone is going to sell more. Everybody knows the iPhone is going to sell more. But just because something sells more, it doesn't make it better. And that's the same argument I was having with Mook the other day on Instagram. When, as soon as I mention, you know, Samsung versus Apple, the first thing he always try to take it to is, okay, let's check out the sales numbers. Let's check out the sales. Well, if you want to go to sales numbers, I guarantee you any year... That's in the recent last 20 years. Any year, Ferrari, Toyota, Nissan, they all sold more cars than Ferrari did. Every single one of those companies, Honda, Nissan, Mitsubishi, all of them sold more actual cars. But just because, you know, Honda sold more than Ferrari, does that make it better than Ferrari? No, that just means it sold more. But everybody knows that if you had a chance, you would rather get a Ferrari than a Honda. So let's... um. Let's leave that at that. We already know which one is going to sell more. The iPhone. All right. Uh, do you think 350 is too much for a watch? That's my man Ace to answer no. All right. No, I don't think so. All right. 350, that's about the that's about the right price because if you think about it, all the gear watches that came out is about 300 and the Moto watch and all that. Yeah, they might be 250, but they don't got a camera. So phones, uh, watches with a camera should, I say 300, that's about, that's about par with everything else that's out. 350 uh you know I, apple you know you gotta you pay an extra 50 dollars for the name so yeah is it too much it could be but um you know whatever i think you're just gonna pay for that more uh ace uh would you ever consider getting a new m5 and the answer is no i mean no i'm you know you catch that know me from back in the days if you see my old Facebook pictures and all that, when I was at the car show back in the days, when they first bought out this M5, that's the only car that I ever took a picture with. When I went to car shows, I never took pictures with cars at car shows. You could scour through all my Facebook pictures. You only see me with one picture with one car, and that's with the M5. So you see it for yourself, when I had that Astro jersey on, I was there, I went, I seen every car that was there. I seen all the Beamers, all the Mercedes, Jaguars, all the fucking Aston Martins and all that, all the heavy hitters. The only car that I really wanted when I went to that car show that day was the E60 M5, yo. So the answer is no. I'm not getting a new one. No. I no, would no. The answer is no. No, the answer is no. I would not get the new one. I need that V10. I need that sound. No, we'll not do that. All right, let's see. Um, Scott. This is an awesome idea. I seriously look forward to these videos every Sunday. See, Scott, now Scott is the type of nigga that I make these videos for. Nigga that look look forward to the shit everyone. So my man Scott Pollen, I see you out there. Yo, I'm about to have a drink for you in a second. Alright. My man Jim, he said, keep it up, drink up, bitches. Okay, I see you. Uh let's see. Have you found an LG G3 extended battery for my man King Musa? Uh no, not yet. Did you see any G3 extended batteries yet? I haven't really been looking for that too much on deck, but um, maybe I need to look at that. T, write that down, yo. Let's uh, let's let's uh, let's hook my man up, uh, my man King Musa up. Let's find him a, a a G3 extended battery and make a video for that. All right. Let's see, uh, Jonathan Rum, uh, Rum Rumfield. I could be saying that wrong. Whatever. Which iPhone am I getting? I'm getting both. Now look, even though I like, even though I'm, uh, y'all hear me shitting on the. On the uh, 4.7 and all that. I'm getting both anyway because... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like new toys. I don't give a fuck. I like playing with new toys. And there's two new toys coming out from Apple. So I need to get both of them. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Now, eventually at the end of the day, am I going to keep both of them? Who knows? All right, who knows? I might end up selling selling my um, iPhone 6 regular one and, and just keeping the plus. Who knows? But at, at, at launch date, I'm getting both. Definitely. All right, um, my man, uh, Sohail Tabson, 
I loving the Amazon Warriors series. Could you do more stories like I did in the first two episodes? And he's a fan from England. All right, so shout out to my man, Sohel from England. T, we're going to have to have a shot for him, yo. Okay. All right, now T want me to take a break. I see her. She over there. She giving me that motion like this. Like, she <laughs> want to take a break for a second. She, you know, this, this is her first video. So, we, 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 you know, fellas, cater to your lady. Your lady, your lady give you that symbol that means take a break all right so, so we're gonna take a break i just tried I, I gave she gave me the symbol i gave her the i gave her the whole up this is the ray rice symbol i gave her the ray rice symbol oh shit i gotta make sure i turn the camera i gotta make sure i turn the camera off before i get busy now next minute niggas be coming for me yo you see word up yeah nah t i got you